Hello Aries, welcome to a how they feel about you love reading. We're going to be looking at your person's feelings towards you, their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you. Let's jump right now for Aries. Spirits, angels, messages, guidance, please for Aries. Regarding the person that's affecting you with Aries. What are they thinking, feeling towards Aries? What are their energies towards Aries? Their energies towards Aries. This time. Oh, we have the world, the fool, and the queen of cups. Beautiful energy, Aries. <clears throat> bottom of the deck the queen of swords so with the world the fool i'm thinking you know starting something new with you a new chapter with you um based on how they feel towards you because the queen of cups is here Car uh, cancer pisces scorpio energy very um considerate kind gentle um, great listeners. Maybe this is how they view you, Aries. Maybe they just have a soft spot for you. <clears throat> they definitely want to take a risk here with the Fool for something new. Some sort of step forward, especially with the world and the Fool. Let's get some more energies out of here. Can we get some more energies for Aries? Tell us more, Spirit. Tell us more about the energies this person is bringing. To this connection with Aries. Tell us more about the energies. Okay, we have breathe in, take time to meditate and relax. Meditation, healing, rest. Strong bonds. Strong bonds can influence someone's decisions or actions. And hidden motives. Someone's hiding their true motives. So with breathe in and hidden motives, I'm getting someone that is reflecting, thinking um, in secret. I don't think, yeah, secret admirer is at the bottom of the deck. So I think that this person is doing things in secret or planning in secret. Uh, maybe they're admiring you from afar in secret. I don't think you're aware of this person's intentions or, you know, what they're thinking right now. Can I get some more insight into this person? We need to know about this person's energy. We need to know. Towards Aries, what are their intentions, thoughts, energies towards Aries? Purity, clarity, and innocence. So interesting. Again, I'm getting Queen of Cups, like very similar to the Queen of Cups energy here. And then we have Spirit at the bottom of the deck, guided and protected. I think that this person's intentions are good intentions, despite the fact that they're doing all of this in secret. Um, <clears throat> they might be thinking of you as someone that is very, I don't want to say like innocent, but maybe you were innocent in what happened. Or perhaps they think of you as someone that, like with um, like a softness, you know. I do feel like this person, for whatever reason, they're thinking of a new beginning with you. Which tells me that either there was an ending of some sort already. Or you guys have not had a connection as of yet. Because this could be somebody from the past, but it could also be someone new coming in. So let's see what this new beginning is all about. Tell me about the world. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a whole new opportunity here. The Empress. Tell me about the world. What do we need to know about the world? For Aries. Seven of Wands. I want this one too. King of Swords. And then the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Empress Energy. I, I get the sense that whoever this is, they value you a lot, Aries. Because when they think about this new cycle, new beginning, or this offer or opportunity here with Ace of Pentacles, it's almost like it needs to be worthy of Aries. 
king of swords seven of wands i think that this person um for whatever reason maybe they think that you'll be resistant to what they have to say to you maybe you're gonna fight them on this or perhaps they need to um i don't know it's like there's an obstacle or a challenge that they envision when they think about communicating with you I think that they want to tell you that they're feeling this, that they want this new beginning, that, you know, that they want to make you this offer. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? Ten of wands. Why is the fool here? Okay, there's that four of swords, which... Breathe in was inspired by the Four of Swords. Nine of Cups. A wish granted, emotional satisfaction. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Well, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, and the Nine of Cups, I, I really feel like this is a dream realized for this person. They're hoping for an opportunity here where they can have their wish granted, where they can have satisfaction at the end of all of this. But the Six of Swords, you know, something might have to be left behind in the past in order to move forward. The Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords, to me, this is like the past. Some sort of burden, obligation that would need to be left behind. And I think that your person with the Four of Swords here, they know this. Some of you, this is a person that wants to heal things with you. And the past is almost like a baggage, a weight on your connection. Um, because it hasn't been addressed. Whatever hurt, whatever pain that has happened between you and this person hasn't been corrected or healed. And so, you know, you can't move into the future without addressing the past. Four of Swords is also telling me that whatever this is, <coughs> excuse me, Aries, whatever this is, um, this Ten of Wands, whether it's the past, whether it's a burden that someone's carrying right now, whatever this Ten of Wands represents for you um, or this person, I feel like they're not ignorant of it. They know exactly what that's about. This Queen of Pentacles is odd. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Can we get some insight on this Queen of Pentacles? There's something off about this Queen of Pentacles, but I don't know why. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. What's this Queen of Pentacles doing here, Spirit? The Chariot. Mm, Seven of Cups. Cancer energy with the Chariot. Okay, so some of you, this is a third party. that they have to move away from. Temperance, Sagittarius energy with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is kind of like figuring things out, making choices. So I think this is taking your person some time. I, If you're not in a third party, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot together, it's almost like someone wants to get to this level with you. The Queen of Pentacles for me as a reader, they're like the ultimate partner. Typically, they're already in a connection or a commitment. Um, <clears throat> sometimes they're parents, providers, business owners. Queen of Pentacles is very established, stable, loyal. So it's like the, your person is probably thinking with the chariot, like, I need to get to this level with Aries. And for some reason, it's a Wheel of Fortune level of opportunity that's happening so what i mean by that is this person is almost hoping for a shift in circumstances or an opportunity that arrives out of nowhere or for a lucky break because right now they don't have it or that's what's necessary in order to have this full this new beginning this leap of faith tell me about the queen of cups And it's interesting that this is an Ace of Pentacles being offered to the Empress, not an Ace of Cups or even an Ace of Wands. The Star, Queen of Swords. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, King of Swords on the board. I feel like something needs to be addressed, like in a in conversation. 
the star Aquarius energy, and then the Knight of Cups. Um, I feel like the Knight of Cups with the star is like, let's talk about this in a direct open way, but it's still an emotional exchange. The Knight of Cups is very sensitive, genuine. Typically, they're the ones to say, I love you. They're the ones to wear their heart on their sleeves. It, it, it could also be a genuine apology, which makes sense with the star. You know, let's heal this because I still care about you, Queen of Cups. I still have feelings for you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. What else do we need to know about this Queen of Cups? Wow, Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're addressing the past or talking about the past or wanting to heal the past. I feel like this person, I feel it's the last one for a lot of you. Someone wanting to heal the past. Tell me about this Six of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Wands, because there's either trust issues, yeah, or an uncertainty, a doubt here with the, with the moon, Pisces energy, and there's the hangman at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like whatever's happening with this person is almost like there's questions with the past, unanswered questions, a lack of closure, a lack of clarity with the past. I also feel like someone has their guard up because of what's happened in the past. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, something happened here, Seven of Wands, to have someone be kind of like on the defensive or to want to protect themselves, set a boundary, um, fight back in a way, or at least protect themselves because something hurts or hurt in the past. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is your person, but I feel like your person, there's a reason they're hiding. There's a reason they're not doing this out in the open. And I think it's because there's something huge that would need to be addressed first. Before they can think about this Nine of Cups, the Star, Ace of Pentacles. And obviously a departure is needed here for someone with the Six of Swords and the Chariot. Some sort of move forward into the future. Let me get some more insight into this person's energies towards Aries. Let me get some insight to this person's energies towards Aries. You're always on my mind. You make me happy. I wasn't honest with you. And bottom of the deck, I wasn't ready. So some regrets here. Now, I wasn't honest with you. That could be that somebody deceived you in the past and that's where the hurt lies. Maybe you have trust issues because they weren't completely honest with you about something. And it's kind of sad because it, it seems like you are what they want. You make me happy. You're always on my mind. I wasn't ready for you. You know, I wasn't ready to earn you or I wasn't ready to be with someone like you. So what are this person's intentions, next possible actions? towards you, Aries. Spirit, can we get some insight into this person's intentions, next possible actions towards Aries? What do they plan to do here towards Aries? What are their possible next actions or intentions towards Aries? Cut the deck and see. My cards are kind of like wanting to go everywhere. Seven of Wands again. Queen of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. King of Swords. Oh yeah, there's definitely something that needs to be discussed in an open, honest way. This person has something to say and they want to balance things out with the Six of, Sto of Stones, which is the Six of Pentacles in this deck kind of an equal give and take and getting to like an equilibrium here where things are balanced. But I feel like this person knows there's some sort of resistance to that, the seven of wands. Maybe you don't trust them, Aries, and they know that there's a reason that you shouldn't be trusting them, right? So they're anticipating this reaction from you or anticipating this guarded energy from you. Tell me about the seven of wands. 
what's this seven of wands about and i think this king queen of swords king of swords that keep popping up i think you want the truth from this person because they weren't honest with you and this i wasn't honest with you can be something as simple as i never told you i cared about you i never told you you were the one for me um or i hid something from you because of this and that or the other and i feel like you want that clarity and they know it tell me about the seven of wands you could be dealing with an air sign aquarius libra gemini energy the sun tell me about the seven of wands what's this about eight of swords page of wands so i feel like they are <laughs> three of wands okay i think that this person is scared of the reaction and i think that they're overthinking honestly you're always on my mind yeah that's this eight of swords i think you make them very happy i think they they want happiness with you um and they're willing to at least go for it with the page of wands queen of wands here aries leo sagittarius energy <clears throat> excuse me but I think it's it's easier said than done. I think that th this person hesitates. Yeah, three of wands, knight of wands. It's almost like they're waiting for the right moment to take that leap. Or they're just, one day they're ready to just do this. And the next day they're like, but let me wait. <clears throat> Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe it's not, you know, the right circumstances or whatever. I think this person is constantly thinking about you. But the problem is that they weren't honest with you. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Two of Wands. Four of Cups. Again, they're picturing you as being almost like, I don't know if I want this. Four of Cups, the Hangman, Two of Wands. I don't know if this is the path I want to take. I don't know if this is a journey I want to take with you. I think you have doubts. I think you have um, issues with trust or just maybe you were just hurt by this person. And, you know, it could be that you are perfectly fine with this decision, but they don't think that, you know, you could have maybe forgiven them. Let's say you don't really feel like they're deceiving you with something completely horrible um but they don't think that they think that you're going to be like eh, i am not interested in this i'm not sure about this emotionally checked out tell me about the six of pentacles tell me about the six of pentacles <laughs> clarify by the six of pentacles okay tell me about the six of pentacles got double confirmation there page of swords okay so talking things out yeah this is basically them reaching out to talk to you and balance this out yeah the five of swords whatever conflict happened in the past aries they want to talk about it there's the emperor at the bottom of the deck aries energy your energy we have the emperor and the empress here i think that they know that they want to talk it's almost like the the past cannot be avoided you know, the past deception, the past conflict, the past drama, whatever this Five of Swords represents for you, it needs to be talked about. And it's almost like this person knows it's it's kind of like a hurdle or something to overcome. We get one more energy. What else do we have to know about this person? Spirit, what else can we do? more insight on this person. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Aries. What do we need to know about this person's energies? This one. We are soulmates. Okay, so this person could be a soulmate, someone with a strong, with well, a strong bonds is here. Bottom of the deck. I pretend that everything is okay, but inside I'm hurting. So this person is definitely, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my throat today. Definitely hiding their true feelings. And I don't think you're aware of this because they're pretending behind that we have everything reminds me of you so once again always constantly thinking about you i think they can't help it 
They can't help it. Things just have gotten to the point where everything is reminding them of you, whether they want to think about you or not, Aries. And they can play pretend all they want. They can be in denial all they want. But this person knows exactly why they are thinking about you. I think the past cannot let them rest or relax. And I also think that they know that this has to be addressed if they really want a future with you, which I think they do because they're thinking of the future right now. They're thinking of the the new beginning you and them could have right now. And that new beginning is not possible without addressing the past. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated with you. Hit that like button if you enjoy how I read or the reading resonated or you just enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more content from me. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.